It happened in New Zealand and now in Australia. The Labour government is overthrown. In comes Robert Gordon Menzies, the Liberal leader, as Australia's new Premier. Out goes Joseph Benedict Chifley, Premier for eight years. The election campaign had been bitter and hard-hitting. One of the major issues had been nationalisation of the banks. With voting compulsory and defaulters liable to a fine, five million Australians turn out in light suits and summer dresses to choose their government for the next three years. Among the early voters is elder statesman Billy Hughes, first war premier. Over in Melbourne, Mr Menzies casts one certain vote for Mr Menzies. And in the Australian bush, each tiny polling booth has its job to do. This is democracy in action. As the totals are posted up in the tally rooms, the trend against the government soon becomes apparent. What is at first a rightward swing soon becomes a landslide. While Labour leader Chifley's seat is safe, it is a coalition government of the Liberal and country parties who will occupy the Treasury benches in Canberra. Says Premier Menzies, The Cabinet has just been sworn in. And in a few minutes we'll be going back to Parliament House at Canberra to have our first meeting. One of Premier Menzies' first acts is to reaffirm the close partnership between Australia and Britain. Australia's new government was put there by its people in a free election. May it ever be thus in our world. Thank you.